Hello, what's up? Ali here for our guide on how to install and run Golden on our PS4 running on firmware 11.0. This is for those who wants to jailbreak and run their FPKGs on their PS4. But keep in mind that the current jailbreak is still on very early stage, means the stability is still very low, and the method is quite long just to activate the jailbreak. And you have to do it every time you open your PS4 and activate your jailbreak. I repeat, since this is one of the most common questions that is flooding our comment section, you have to do this every time you open the PS4 and activate the jailbreak. Now before we proceed to the actual jailbreak, let us address more concerns regarding this newest release. As of now, the new Golden is only working on 9.0 and 11.0. So to those who are in between, is it worth it to update to 11.0? Well, that is totally up to you. If you can wait, I would suggest you wait since the developers are already porting the payloads on the lower versions and the method is still unstable for now. But if you want to try the jailbreak now, then there is nothing to lose if you want to update. Everything you can do on the lower version can definitely be available on 11.0. The waiting is only for the development of the whole jailbreak to make it more stable. If you want to update now then go ahead, you can follow this video to jailbreak and install FPKG on 11.0. Now for the requirements, we will use Windows for this method using PPPWN Go. Since of all the applications that I have tried that are available for the jailbreak, this is what I find to be the easiest to prepare and have a good success rate. So uh, be sure to install everything we are going to show but still expect some fails and restarts on your PS4 since we are still on the early stages. Expect the method to improve on the next few days or maybe weeks and uh, if there are any significant update, I will definitely make another tutorial. On the PC, we have to download the PPPWN Goa. You will find the link on our description so just open the link click on this part and download zip next we have to download and install npcap so again the link is on our description open the link and scroll down a little click on this part to download this application let us start with installing the npcap so just double click on the file and since I have already installed this one, I can just go ahead and click on no. But the installation process is uh, pretty straightforward. Next, we'll have uh, to extract the PPPWN Go. Inside the extracted folder, open the Python folder. Then we have to install these two applications, the number two and the number three item. So just double click on the file. You should see this, just press any key to continue. Now for this copy, you should also see this and just have press any key to continue. Next, we have to download and install the latest Python. Again, you will find the link on our description. Just open the link and click on this part to download the file. I have already installed Python, but I will add install this to show you how we can properly install this application. Because most of the errors that we get when running the new jailbreak comes from a uh, improper installation of Python. So first, I will go ahead and uninstall my Python. Now let us go ahead uh, and install Python. So just double click on the application. Check on the two options below. Choose Customize Installation. Make sure everything is checked. Click on Next. And make sure the second, third, fourth, and fifth option are checked. Then click on install. After installing the Python, let us go ahead and prepare our PS4. Now on the PS4, make sure that it is directly connected to your PC or to your laptop. If you are looking forward to use an Android phone, then prepare a uh, Ethernet adapter to be able to connect it to your PS4. Now on the PS4, just go to the network settings. Set up internet connection. Use the LAN cable, use custom, choose PPPOE, use some random user ID and a password, click on next, automatic, automatic, do not use. 
then go back from here. Next, on the PC, we'll have to prepare the payload and the external hard drive. The payload will be loaded from the external hard drive, but according to the latest development of the Gold Hen, it will be transferred on the PS4 hard drive, and you only need the external hard drive to load the payload on the first try. After loading the payload, you don't need the external hard drive, simply activate the jailbreak. For the hard drive, make sure that it is formatted to XFAT. Then go back to the PPPWNGO folder, Open the PS4 Gold Hen All. Choose the firmware of your PS4. Right now, it's only available for 9.0 and 11.0. And since I'm still using this on 9.0, I will go ahead and uh, choose 9.0. Now, if you'll ask why am I using 9.0, the process is still the same if you are on 11.0. You will just have to choose the firmware of your PS4 when running the application. Now, open the latest Gold Hen, that is uh, 2.4B17. And this gold hand that bin, we have to transfer this on the root of our hard drive. So unlike on the early stages of this jailbreak that we have to rename this to payload that bin, for this method, we'll have to leave it as it is. So just leave it to gold hand that bin. Now let us go ahead and insert this to our PS4 and make sure that our PS4 can detect and access this hard drive. Now on the PS4, go back to the network settings. And on the PC, go back to the TTPWNGO folder and run this application. Now click on this part. On the upper drop down menu, choose your firmware. For now, this will only work on 9.0 and 11.0. And since we are on 9.0, we are going to choose this. Now you can go ahead and ignore the rest of the options and click on back. From here, make sure that your PS4 is directly connected to your PC using an Ethernet cable. Now, once everything is all set, click on Go. And on the PS4, click on Test Ethernet Connection. Expect a lot of errors, restarts, and the shutdowns on your PS4. When that happens, all you have to do is just try again. When you get to this part and fails, simply press any button and press on go again. Going back on your PS4, press back and test internet connection. You will have to do this every time it fails and you want to try again. Now, if you get multiple failures, it is highly advisable to restart your PS4. It will increase the success rate on your next try. Now, when I was testing this a while ago, I got a better success rate when I access the exploit using this one. Now let us go ahead and uh, click on this one. It will simply initiate the application and go back to your PS4 and restart the test internet connection. Finally, uh, I think around uh, 10 tries, we were able to uh, finally activate or run the gold hen. But there were some cases when I was testing this, when I had some successful attempts on my first tries. On average, you can have a successful attempt one in every five tries based on my current experience. But if you have some multiple failures, restarting the PS4 can help improve the success rate.
And just a little heads up, on our past videos, I have mentioned that the rest mode was not supported on the latest gold hen. Fortunately, I was wrong. The latest gold hen supports rest mode. That means that uh, after using your PS4, you can just leave it to rest mode so you don't have to activate your jailbreak the next time you use it. And to make sure that it will work, go to power saving settings, set features available in rest mode, and check the keep application suspended. Now let us go ahead and try some game. As you can see, I was able to run and play an FPKG. Even if I am using a 9.0 on this video, this will definitely work with the same method on 11.0. All you have to do is just choose your firmware on the application. And if you need a video on how to install, play, and fix games on our Gilbrogan PS4, I will simply leave a link on our description for a video for that, as well as other helpful videos for our Gilbrogan PS4. So this will be it for now. If you have any questions, suggestions, 